What's up again, everybody? I just got back yesterday from the battle hard in Milwaukee, and I was going to take some time to relax today. I had a couple meetings lined up, but then Flesh and Blood went ahead and posted an interactive tutorial on how to play the game. And I thought, well, what the heck? I got to jump in on this and check this out. So let's go through the whole thing and uh, learn how to play Flesh and Blood and check out this brand new interactive tutorial. It's going to be a little chuggy because it does pull Flesh a significant a amount of resources. Trading card game. Each player chooses a hero to play as. Each hero has a class that defines the cards they can play with and their fighting style. These effects are so cool. The object of the game is to reduce the opposing hero's life total to zero. This is your hero's intellect. You start the game with this many cards in your hand. Each hero has an ability that reflects their character and shapes how they fight. Equip your hero, prepare to fight. You start the game with your trusty I love the weapon texture. by your side. The Edge texture they put on that is incredible. Weapon, meaning it can only be used by ninja heroes, such as Ira. You can also pause. You can also pause this and like, to just, see, I can pause it right here. Also, these effects look slick. They look very good. This weapon. If it was a one-handed weapon, you could have two of them equipped, one in each hand. Yeah, you could. This is a weapon's attack value. The cost to attack with a weapon and its abilities is here. Edge of Autumn is an action and costs one energy. What an upgrade, man. This is so good for new players. Point to play an action card. You get one action point each turn to spend on action cards and action abilities like Edge of so after this pre-recorded intro plays, you actually have access to an interactive board. You get which energy is really cool. by pitching cards. We'll explain how to pitch cards soon. The number of energy symbols in the sockets is the amount of energy you will get. Do you say energy? Do you call it mana? Do you call it I've always called it resources. Is it energy? Yellow give you two. And blue give you three. Eh, An energy. action card's attack value is here, and its defense value is here. When you are being attacked, you can choose to defend with cards from your hand. It is free to defend. It does not cost energy or action points to defend with cards. Totally free. Reaction cards are played during combat to surprise the attacking or defending hero. I remember when I made that how to play in 2019, people asked, do I have to pay to defend? That was like one of the biggest things. Okay, so this is where things get crazy. Check this out. So I'm going to go over here and click let's play the game. Equip right. your hero, prepare to fight. Your Watch opponent this. is Reinar, an alpha brute from the Savage Lands. You can just move the screen Firstly, however I want. Reveal your hero and weapon. These start the game in the arena. This is so cool. Now shuffle your deck, <laughs> place it in the deck zone, and draw your cards equal to your hero's intellect. Can I zoom in? Randomly I... determine who will start Can't the zoom game. In or out. You win, we and won we'll the go game. first. To play cards, you Going must first. work within two constraints. One, you can only play or activate one action per turn, cool. unless that action has go again. That game will never be broken. Two, that, that tenant will never be you broken. You must pay the energy cost. Let's start by attacking with Edge of Autumn. It costs so, one energy to attack with it, and you can see yeah. it has go again which that means a, you will get to continue with more actions after this attack resolves. A legal game move, the we can start with Edge of Autumn. The way you gain energy is by pitching cards, which means to move a card from your hand to your pitch zone. Remember, Watch. red cards give you one energy, yellows two, mm. and blues three. It is generally best to pitch your blue cards to get the most energy possible to pay for your higher impact yellow and red cards. I just want to play Do this one. Now. I want to play salt Pitch the wound. The brutal assault no. in your hand. I want to play salt the wound. It looks cooler. Can I just play that? No, it won't let me break the rules. Okay, so it, it makes me follow it. Look, I can grab the card. I can bring it over here. I can cover up Reinar. What happens? I'm just going to leave that there. Oh, no, I, I can't click on other cards. Okay, so it wants me to do the now thing. Now you have three so energy. Thing. Attack with Edge of Autumn by moving it to the combat chain, which now uses one of your energy. Three resources on top. Okay, combat chain time. Here we go. Here's Edge of Autumn. Here it comes. It is on the combat chain. Edge of Done. Autumn is now attacking the opposing hero. This is the first attack on the combat chain. You got Reinar. Chain Link One. This is so fun. Reinar does not defend. Edge of Autumn hits. 
dealing yes. one damage to Reinar. We're winning the game. Edge of Autumn Let's has go. go again, which means you can continue your turn with another action. It's because we've refreshed our now action let's points, play everyone. Torrent of Tempo at Chain Link 2. I like that. I like that move. Torrent of Tempo on Chain Link 2 makes so much sense because now you're going to have to commit two cards to blocking it because it says if it hits, if it deals any damage to uh, Reinar here, it gets go again. Otherwise, you have to give me two cards, most likely, just to stop my turn. Don't forget, if uh, go again resolves, we get to refresh our action point. Torrent of Tempo costs one energy. Because Torrent of Tempo is your second attack this turn, yeah. Ira's hero ability gives it plus one power. That's right, give us Torrent two cards. Of Tempo gets go again if it hits, which means if the opponent fully defends it, it won't get go again, and your turn will end. That's right. Reinar defends with two cards. Ah, curses. Now it's time for damage calculation. Ah, oh, fine. Torrent of Tempo has six power versus a total of six defense. Torrent of Tempo is fully blocked and does not hit, which means your turn yep. will end. That's okay. That's okay. Firstly, we're, we're still in here. Let's clean up the combat chain. Let's do it. Let's put... Weapons oh, I can't do it. Weapons if any, return to their respective zones. Or put them in the graveyard if you want to be a true gamer. Put your weapon in the... In the uh, empty, put and in you there. have any cards left in your hand, you can put one of them face down into your arsenal. Right here. You can play this card from arsenal on a future turn. I don't know. Let's do that now. I like flying kick in the arsenal. Salt the wound though, that's pretty spicy. Note, okay. You can't pitch or defend from arsenal. You can sure. only play cards from arsenal, which includes playing defense reaction cards. Mm -hmm. Next, put all cards from your pitch zone on the bottom of your deck. Then draw up to your hero's intellect. We need four At the cards. End of the first turn of the game, all players draw cards back up to their hero's intellect. For the rest of the game, each player will only draw oh. up to their intellect at the end of their own turn. We are going to crush it's this Reinar. Turn. Show me Reinar what you got. Reinar a blue card to gain three energy. He uses but you have to, three energy to you gotta play you something. Okay. Instinct. Okay, now, we got to pa pause, pause. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I believe you have to play the thing before you pay for the thing. You play the card and then you pay the resource cost. Am I am I wrong in this? Someone tell me in a comment below. You pay before you or you play before you pay. Remember, it's free to defend, mm. but you need to think ahead because right. whatever cards you have left after defending is all that you have to work with during your next turn. Very good point. With this hand the correct choice is to defend with Salt the Wound. What? That's exactly what I was going to say, too. Uh, no, I think uh, we're incentivized to take damage because we have this card called Scar for a Scar. And Scar for a Scar, whenever you play it, if you have less life than your opponent, then uh, you gain go again on the attack. So we can just chuck this Salt the Wound in there. That makes some sense. I like that. For damage calculation. Go. Smash Instinct has seven power versus your total defense of three. You are dealt four damage. That's good. This is good news. Smash Instinct does not have go again, so Reinar's turn ends. Bold Titanium Bobble play. Cards from his hand into his arsenal. The cards from his pitch zone on the bottom of his deck, mm -hmm. and he draws up to his intellect. Yep. Now it's your turn and time for vengeance. Oh, vengeance. Start by pitching head jab to gain three energy. I want to attack first. I guess I guess we're doing attack this now. With edge of autumn at chain link one, using one energy. Yes, that leaves us with two. Why is that good? Because our arsenal card costs two. Reinar does not defend ha. and is dealt one damage. Scar now for a scar. Scar for a scar at yeah. chain link two. This is awesome. Let's do it. Then we're going to, after this, we're going to have our two floating uh, resources or energy, I guess is what we're calling it. And then we're going to come in with flying kick. But Note boom. Scar for a scar's energy cost is zero. So it doesn't consume any of your available energy. It also has an effect that gives it go again if you have less life than your opponent, which you do. Scar for yes. a scar is your second attack this turn, which means Ira's ability Buff gives it up. plus one power. Five. Reinar defends for three and takes two damage. Now it's time to feel the power of flying kick. Here it comes. We're going to fly flying in. Flying kick from your arsenal using your remaining two energy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Flying, flying kick. Flying kick is played at chain link three. 
It gets plus two power. Mm-hmm. Reinar defends Bold. for three and takes four damage. Flying Done. kick does not have go again, so your turn ends. But we get we to Arsenal, Springboard the Somersault. Into its zone and put the rest of the cards into the graveyard. See, back in 2019. You empty Arsenal. So let's put Springboard let's do Somersault it. into Arsenal. This was the MVP in the Arsenal right here. Springboard Somersault. The Boom. The cards in your pitch zone go on the bottom of your deck, and you draw up to your hero's intellect. Reinar pitches Ooh. a yellow card, gaining two energy, and attacks okay. with Pack Hunt. Defend How do you block with, with cards? Assault and salt the wound. How does he have a four card hand after blocking with card? I'm confused. That's fine. Let's just keep going because Brutal Assault blocks for three. This was a this was a great underrated card. In fact, it's a blue block three that attacks a break point. You kidding me? This card's nuts. We should play it all. We should block two cards here. What are we Arsenal? Springboard Somersault? Hmm, we want to get more value off of that. So we're going to block for six. After defending cards have been chosen, attack reactions and defense reaction can be played. Reactions are not action cards and therefore do not require an action point. What's Reinhardt the play here? A blue card oh no. Energy. He spends two energy to play. Oh, power, Pommel. Pack Hunt plus four power and an extra effect that if Pack Hunt hits, you will not have good. To discard a card. We have the answer because though. We are in the reaction step. The only thing you can do is play a defense reaction. Mm -hmm. and that's exactly what you're going to do. Yes. Springboard Somersault is ready to pounce from your arsenal. It's plus two. Its energy cost is zero, so you can simply play it for free. Leaping Crushing out this. of harm's way. Love it. Leap out of harm's way. Somersault. When Springboard Somersault is played from arsenal, it gets a plus two defense buff, adding a total of four additional defense to this chain link. Dodging the nasty impact of Pummel. Mm hmm Congratulations, young hero. You now know everything you need yes. to know to begin your adventure. Let's finish him off. Visit Fab what? No! Oh, don't tell me I can... I don't get to kill him? No! I wanted to finish the fight. Oh, man. Hey, that's a really cool, like, starter tutorial. And uh, I love that it talks about uh, attack reactions, defense reactions, because the number one thing that I have gotten on that very, very long ago uh, video talking about uh, like how to play flesh and blood was, hey, how do you uh, how do you deal with uh, re defense reactions? How do those even function? Because people didn't quite understand defense reactions when it first came out. And it's continually become one of those things that people are like, how does this card work? Because they think it's an action. And uh, that you have to not pay for it or you do have to pay for it. So uh, I do appreciate the uh, slow, like, kind of walk through, detailed walk through on attack versus defense reactions. But oh my God, we had him on the ropes. We were going to come in with the edge of autumn followed by the flying kick. We were going to push some damage. We were going to threaten the life total. Somehow they had extra cards in hand, but cheating is, che don't cheat. Don't cheat, I don't recommend it. Hey, that is really cool. Okay, based on the bones of this structure, could you make a similar interactive client? I, yes and no. Like, you would need to change the sort of templating because like this, being able to sort of slide the board around might not be conducive to easy control on your like mobile device. But I started this on uh, mobile and it was actually super smooth and uh, overall felt really, really good on my mobile device. So let me know in a comment below if you've tried this, but this is a fantastic way. And it, oh God, this just goes along with uh, a great casual product, along with a set that is uh, like very easy for beginners to crack open some packs and start playing and messing around with. And then you put this on the internet, like this is what Flesh and Blood needs to do continually to try and bring in new players. And if you think that the game is is okay to just rest on its laurels and not try to pull in new players, I have news for you. Uh, the climate of the TCG landscape has changed dramatically over the past year and will continue to change dramatically over the next year. And if you're not drawing in new players, if you're not targeting new player growth, well, you're going to be slipping behind. And that is something that uh, I don't think uh, Legend Story Studios wants to have happen. So this is a really cool step and uh, one that I, I think would be really cool if, if they took this and then allowed you to just play the rest of this game out. 
like if there was an option right here that said continue uh and then just play the game out or an option at the end that said try again without all the talking and then like maybe verbal uh little reminders if you try to play something wrong that would be fantastic that would be fantastic i don't know the resources available to uh putting more into this but that would be mind-blowingly good so I am, uh, I'm color me impressed and intrigued by this and I would like to see them do more. If you would like to see them do more, let me know in a comment below what you would like them to do along with this and then make that number go slightly higher because if that number gets high enough, then this one becomes a seven and sevens are like way cooler than sixes. Like don't, don't tell me, don't even, don't even sit here and tell me that. As always, thanks for watching.